Neil, it was some effort with 10 and 9 men on Tuesday night. In mm. terms of the recovery and the effort that's been put in there, how's, how's the squad shaped up? Yeah, we don't have any injury concerns after the game. Obviously, it was a big physical effort. Um, we keep putting ourselves in that situation, which is not ideal. Um, but I suppose one of the positives from that is you get to see the, the, the character very quickly of the players. Um, and I've got to say that they've responded brilliantly well in those in tough circumstances. Can't fault the effort and the, the application. The boys, you know, against Charlton, ten men for ninety minutes, and and this game with ten men and then nine men, um, we're going right to the end. And with a little bit of better quality and maybe a little bit of fortune, we'd have come away with a point. Um, so yeah, we have to rest and recover and prepare, and we we look forward to Saturday now. Fair to say that element of the performance with nine was. The risk without the reward. Yeah, when you when there's always a goal in it, you just know that it, it just takes one moment, and it might have been a set piece, a corner, a free kick, um, or the, a moment like we had near the end of the game. You know, with one, a CJ opportunity or Demi's opportunity, um, and sometimes you you deserve your own luck. Um, I think we deserved a little bit of luck in that game for the effort that the the players put in, and you know we we threw everything at them and. We thought we might as well try and go for it and get that equaliser. We we might have conceded maybe at the other end. Although I have to say, Max has only really pulled off one really good save and a, another save that was quite straightforward. They didn't create too much, even though we were quite open maybe at times. But we defended those moments really well. Uh, and I say a little bit better quality in the final third. We we'd have come away with um, a deserved a point in my opinion. After the disappointment of that, what's been the message to the group? Um, that we can do better, and we need to do better. Um, we can't continuously say the same things. Um, however, there has to be that balance of reminding the players of what we are doing well. Um, it's the feeling in the dressing room when you lose is, you know, it's despondent and. You sometimes feel as though you've done a lot of things wrong when, in hindsight, you haven't. You've done a lot right. Um, but, again, we're not perfect um, and we need to be doing better. Um, so we follow our process of this is what we've done well, but this is the areas we need to improve on. And we're not far away at all. Um, and if we keep working together and improve on the things that we can do, then um, I believe that we can change the results around very, very quickly. Yeah, when you look back at a few games, there's been individual errors that have probably proved costly. Is it about sort of setting demands of each other and sort of trying to eradicate those? Yeah, I think as a group, I think we can do um, more together on the pitch. I think, you know, we, we, we have a saying about everyone is responsible for everything and that means it's a collective effort and not leaving your mate to defend 1v1 or not just relying on one person to score or two people to score. It, it's got to come from everybody. Um, and in those moments, I think we can do more. Um, like we could have done more on Tuesday night in certain moments. Um, so, you know, we're well aware of the position that we're in. And um, like everybody, we want to improve. We're frustrated. Um, and there's only us who can do something about that. James' husband will be back from suspension this weekend. Are you expecting any other bodies back? No, Hubby will be free from suspension um, and the injuries, uh, the boys who are injured won't won't make this this weekend um, so they won't be back on the team sheet just yet um, and yeah we have to obviously look at the team from Tuesday physically and how they recover and then um, pick the best team that we think has got a chance to go to Burton and pick up three points. And in terms of the opposition what sort of challenge do you expect? We well, had a very good result on a Tuesday against Peterborough, coming from behind twice and to get a good point away from home. And they've got players who are um, what you call League One ready. Um, they know how to play in this division and um, they're a hard team to play against. They've got good spirit and organisation and Jake's obviously um, carried that on from you know working under Nigel for a number of years and the, the team... Um, is a reflection of him on the pitch and if you don't match that spirit like they showed at Peterborough 
um, then they're, they're a tough team to play against um, and we're expecting nothing but as they all are and I know I say it often but every game in this division if, if you're not ready mentally for the game and what the opposition can bring and the problems that they can cause you if you're not ready for that um, then every game in this league is a tough game.